finally we have extroid and which is really really after a long time uh, now we have android 12l in our hand for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and i will talk about that rom in details should we update should we use in our daily life or not it's perfect for daily drive or not so stay tuned so let's get it started from the settings and this is the setting user interface and which is a bit different from other custom rooms if you compare to those custom rooms then this is really cool if you want to see the about section you click here and you will get different ui here also and we have the firmware information like extroid android version aosp and xd and android security update which is very latest and android 12 of course and really thanks to Arduino you know, for building this one and you guys will get that here and which is maintained by interstellar so interstellar that means Arduino. so really thanks to him for his back-to-back -back updates and some new roms he's, he's trying to uh, bring some new roms for us that's great and the kernel used since perf which was uh, is the latest one and silly next status enforcing that's it now get back and let me show you the total user interface of the settings and at the top you guys will get about section then we have the internet and then connectivity and then we have the uh, mnm list that means the customization hub then we have the display sound apps and notifications and the other things and at last we have others that means the system you guys will get the languages and input and if you want to uh, use any other languages then click on the languages and then click add languages and select according to your choice which you want to use, uh, add actually then get back and live translation if available which is uh, live translate actually uh, you can add languages also here you can just download and use that's it multiple users and reset options and those things and google then we have here the digital well-being and other things accessibility everything is included then we have a location privacy storage account and notifications apps and other things and let's talk about uh, app settings which application you don't want notification just turn that off then we have the battery now let's talk about battery maybe something uh, disappointing here I don't uh, I didn't like the battery backup of that room because of a new kernel maybe I'm not sure uh, I'm not getting better battery backup but it's usable but not so much I'm not satisfied with that battery backup so this might be a deal breaker for some people uh, to use in your daily life so that's the bummer I guess and rest of the things are really really awesome just battery smooth experience and no issues just smoothness is just like the pixel extended and other thing other rooms and uh, lineage os type and the necessary customizations and features are available sound sections and uh, everything is there no issues with that now let's talk about the uh, mnm list which is customization hub actually and about extra it is here and system interface and monitor engine clock settings and the most important thing i like in that room which is there is no bullshit everything is just on a top notch that means we have just uh, necessary customization which we actually need in our daily life there is no bullshit so that's it uh, battery percentage battery style and everything is actually we needed in that feature which is uh, show data disable icons and other things location access indicator mic and camera privacy indicator status bar items network speed only if you click just enable that toggle then you guys will be able to see the traffic indicator network speed in the uh, status bar that's it you don't need to do other things like uh, select status bar or other side nothing and we then have the quick settings only the important things are available brightness slider bottom brightness slider auto brightness icon and battery estimates that's it then we have the gesture option you guys will not get that gesture option in system uh, system settings only it will available here that means there is no bullshit so system navigation and you guys can customize the uh, navigation pillbar and which is uh, long i'm using right now so this is cool and i like it 
then we have the double tap status button sleep and other things i checked everything is just onto the uh, top notch and onto the point so no problem with that and you know you have the buttons only three reorient toggle torch when screen off and volume wave that's it the buttons then we have the lock screen ripple effect that means when you just unlock your device by pressing on fingerprint uh, on fingerprint scanner then you will get the ripple effect show media art and disable power menu on lock screen hide qs in secure lock screen if you want to hide the control center on your lock screen then just enable that feature which is really really important and secure qs tiles required unlocking so that's also great things and which is really important for people's for privacy section and then we have the miscellaneous the important things enable advanced restart and haptic feedbacks and then we have the uh, unlimited Google Photos storage and unlock higher FPS in games. So if you play games like Call of Duty and PUBG Mobile and other things, uh, so you guys will get high FPS um, than normal. So this is really really great things and at, at least they try to use the latest feature in that room. So now let me talk about that. And this is a G apps build. This is not. Uh, vanilla build any people will get only gfs build so don't need to worry about any gfs just download and install that's it and the battery backup will improve if you use it for some days then i'm using this room for your style from the from the telegram channels and other things if you want to join on my telegram channel and if you want to ask any question then you guys can do that and smoothness in just in front of you just really awesome and powdery smoothness no lag and stutter nothing is there this is the really really coolest thing i loved it and you guys can see the wallpaper zoom effect is available on the background that's it and now let me show you here this is the um, new user interface and this is the home settings that means we have the pixel launcher only pixel launcher is in that room that's why it's really really smooth and we have the latest widgets every single widgets are available chrome widgets and cloak widgets and cloak widgets i'm using right now that's it and if you want to change wallpapers and you guys will get by default uh, some kind of wallpapers that means the coolest if, if people will like it you guys can select from there and we have the wallpaper colors and basic colors if you want to uh, select any basic colors you guys can do that and dark theme and themed icons and other things uh, can be selected from here no issues with that now let me show you the geekbench score actually these things depends on the surroundings and uh, around us and the weather everything so with this this is really cool not bad and not uh, top notch but it's cool there is no issues in practical life now let me show you the cpu throttling which is 79 percent and which is great i think because if you just keep using that rom for some days and then you, if you check it you will get better performance so that's the stability and there is no issues with performance i didn't get any lag and start or nothing so that's the important thing and by default we have the google camera go and of course you people can use uh, google camera any of this i already made videos on google cameras if you miss then you guys can check the description or check video section for that and this is screencast and uh, screen record start whatever you need you guys can do that start screen recording is working fine no problem with that hope you guys understand the video if i miss anything then just let me in the comment section below so thank you for watching